All right, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to replace the electric fans on a Euro van. This one's a 2001 in particular. Um, the fans do work, but the thing is, um, one day my customer, she went to the store, fans like, um, they still stayed on after the car was turned off and she thought the car was running. Um, but it actually, the, the motor on the fan is actually wobbling back and forth. Um, I don't know if you can see it from right here. But yeah, it's, it has like a wobble and it feels like the car's running rough. And then every time when the fan turns on, then um, the car shakes like crazy. And then you can see all the plastic shaking like crazy. Um, this is a very simple step. <clears throat> Nothing too crazy. I mean, we're going to have our, our T-bits right here. I believe they're T25s. Um, they're, yeah, I'll, I'll check those out right now. So if you haven't already, give it a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions, and hit that subscribe button for more upcoming videos in the future, and we'll go ahead and start this video at the intro. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and take off these three uh, T30s. They're going to be star bits, so we'll take off those. Then we'll go ahead and push this to the side, lift up. Watch out for your little dipstick. And then pull right back. So literally just kind of lift up a little bit and then pull towards you. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and take off our, um, our front grill and then we're gonna take off our little radiator um, support holder. So we're gonna go ahead and pop these guys right out. Um, pretty much you're gonna need a uh, 10 millimeter socket and then a Phillips screwdriver. All right, so now let me show you exactly where. So we're gonna have two 10s right here. I don't think there's one right there. So I don't think there's one on the side. So, and then here's another set of two. Then we have one Phillips right here. There's the other one. And then right in here, there's another one. There's one more right there. So we're gonna go ahead and take off all of those. So now we're going to go ahead and take off these two Phillips right here for the reservoir. Then for the reservoir, you are going to lift up right here. It's just lift up and then we'll just push this to the side just like that. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and pull this guy. You can either pull this off or leave it in there. Um, I'm going to pull it off just because it's going to be easier and then I can show it for a demonstration. All right. So just so we're aware of this, let me zoom in up on this. So for this guy, you are going to push this in while lifting. So get your finger. I'm at the, I'm at the edge right here. My fingers are under here. So you can see, I'm lifting up right there. And at the same time, I'm just pushing this guy right in as I'm pulling him back. I'm gonna repeat this for the other side. And just like that. So now we have way easier access to our fans. Um, very simple. Now you either can buy the whole fan, fan assembly or you can just buy the fans themselves. Um, we do got the fans just themselves. We don't need to replace the whole assembly. I mean, that would be this whole plastic piece. Um, if you are going to replace the whole assembly, like let's say if it's damaged, you are going to be needing, um, I believe it's T30s all the way around. There are six in total. So let me back up. So right here, there's one. There's one down below, but that was missing uh, because one of the bolts stripped when I last did the job. And the same thing right here. Um, there's another one. And then on the opposite side down below, 
there's another one right there and then there's two more on this end too so one right under there and then one under the radiator hose but what we're going to go ahead and do we're just only going to take off the 10 millimeters that are holding this in so we got one here's a second one right there three four five and six the six ones down below right there so yeah we'll go ahead and um take these off now also too um you can either go under the vehicle to disconnect the the electrical side i don't think i need to um if you do then you need to drop down the little splash shield i don't want to do that but um we're just going to go ahead and disconnect it. I'm going to try to record this to my best of abilities. So I don't think I can get any too much light up in there. But again, I'm going to try just because of the space that's there. So we're going to go ahead and do the connectors first just so we can pull out the pants pretty easy. I want to see if I can show you this. We didn't say... So I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. Um, you're gonna go ahead and pull this back from its little slot area. And then right there, you're gonna have one, gosh, I can focus. So right there, you can see there's a little tab where my thumb is about to touch. So this little tab, there's one right there and then there's one on the opposite side on the back side of it. You're gonna squeeze those two and then just pull away. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. All right, so we got both of them out. Now we're gonna go ahead and take off those tens. So now we're going to go ahead and just pull back the fan assembly and just lift right up. Now your upper radiator hose is actually, it goes down below and it's going to get caught against the fan a little bit. So just push that, push that back so you can able to sneak that right out. And then there we have it. Now let's say if one of your fans wasn't working. Um, what you can do is you can jump it. I think one is positive and one is negative. I believe the brown is the positive and then the red is the negative. They're weird. They, that's how they. That's how these guys do that. Um, all right. So let's flip it upside down. Obviously, this will cause our vibration. And then the bearing sounds bad on it. You can actually replace these fan blades itself, but the bearing is. Oh yeah, it's this one. So, all right, well, anyways, let's give this a nice good jump. Um, basically one way to test these guys right out. For some of you, um, you're gonna need a battery, 12 volts, and then one is gonna be going to negative. You get a cable. Now be careful when you're doing this. Try to ha hold this or something and then just when it when it catches and stuff. So let's put our brown right there. So I got one positive, this is my battery pack, and then I got one negative. So we're gonna go ahead and hold this right down. So right there as you can see it. So that fan works. So if you wanted to test out the other side, you'll see a little spark and all that. Don't don't be don't be crazy, but you can hear the bearing. I was just spinning in there, so that that's bad. Um, same thing. So remember, um, brown is positive, 
and red is is negative. You would think red is is positive, but no, Germans want to do it that way. So, all right, um, that's how you would test them out. If they work, then obviously you know that's not your issue. To say if you know, you can do this while it's on the car. You just need to disable it. Um, then you would have like some other issues. Check out your fans. Check out your thermostat. I meant your uh, fan switch or cooling temperature sensor because that's what controls all that. Um, all right, so now let's get back to the video on taking them apart. That's just for a little testing for some of you guys, just in case um, you're kind of curious on how to test them. All right, so um, gonna be using these fans. I guess uh, you can get these from Car, uh, Car Geeks or this JP Group um, DK. It's in a different country, I guess. Um, part number for the fans are gonna be right here. It's going to be uh, the 959355002, or I think it's the top one. One of the two, either way, but they're there for you. So we're going to have six 10 millimeters in total for the fan. So right here, we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six. We're replacing both of the fans. And they're going to be 10 millimeters. So we're going to replace one fan at a time. Just in case so we don't mess up anything. And then we'll just pull these little tabs back, I guess. Yeah. So these guys will just pull them back just like this. They're like, they're pushed in. So you can get like a flathead screwdriver. Well, that one broke, but uh, it is what it is. It'll be fine. Because this one already broke, but a long time ago. All right. You can use zip ties to hold it in. If you're very cautious about that. Then we'll get our things, push them right through there. Push this fan out the way, and then same thing, we'll put these fans right through here. And then voila, fits pretty good. Um, so yeah, so far no issues. Well, I'm having a little fitment issues. Um, I don't see why I should. It's identical to the other one. Um, Yeah, so just grab some pliers and then pinch each side. So right here, what I'm doing is I'm just pinching right here and there just so I can start the initial first start. It's just scraping just a little bit. I mean, the other one slid in perfect. This one's just really tight fit. All right, so let's go ahead and finish this. Once you get it started, the rest should be easy, and then you can bolt it in. Now we're in. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get our fans all situated. So make sure you have them inside here.
Or you know what? Our brown is our um, is our negative, and our red is actually our positive. So that, it's actually pretty right. Um, or wait, am I reading this wrong? Yeah, no, I was actually reading it wrong, or was I? Oh yeah, so our red is our positive. Yeah, so our 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 brown is our um, negative, and then our red is our uh, is our positive for this. Yeah, so positive is red, and then brown is negative. So just so you're aware. So just go ahead and put these back in there. And then the other one, we'll go ahead and zip tie right here. We'll just zip the, zip tie those two. And then make sure that these guys are facing uh, the little heads, or make sure that they're facing towards you. And just cut them perfect so you don't cut yourself. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and do the install. So we'll just basically just slide down the fans. So only the top three. So we got one, two, three, and then the, the, the two middle four. So that would be the fourth one. So the two middle ones, those are the only ones that are gonna actually go through just like this. So you can, you can kind of see. And then the two bottom right corners, those aren't gonna go in all the way. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and just bolt them down. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and connect these guys. I'm gonna try to do this. Um, each connector, you're gonna have a left side and a right side. So I put one on the left side for the left, for the passenger side, and then I put one on the right side, obviously. Let's connect this. Again, I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. All right, so we got them in. It was a little bit hard to record at the same time. Um, make sure that you hear them clip and then try pulling them apart to so make sure that they don't um, pull back. All right, so now we are ready to put back on our top piece, the radiator support. Before we do that, you need to lubricate this with dielectric grease just for easy install. And same thing, just for right here and on the opposite side of that. So we'll do those two sides right now. All right, so again, I'm using dielectric grease, basically. Just put a little dab right here, and then you'll just work it over to the other side. And just kind of work it all the way around. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and put in our little top radiator support. So either you can just push it down Or it'll go in. If not, in my case, it won't. So what you can do is you can get a flathead or a screwdriver right here, and just push down on this, and just kind of wiggle it back and forth. Then go back on the other side once you get the lip in and then voila you're all said and done so repeat that for the other side then we'll go ahead and put on our <clears throat> front fascia now if you're having a rattle in this one 
which I am I'm having quite a rattle. So usually pretty sure these should be inserted in. Just like that. I think yeah, I think there's some tabs that are broken. Um you probably put a napkin right there or you can put like some flex seal. Um but yeah, if it rattles, I mean, I could pop it off four screws and then we'll see how it goes and then we'll let it sit over day. But as of right now, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and put this guy right back in. Then we're going to go ahead and put in our recovery tank. And then we'll go ahead and put in our, our little cover. Now when you put this in, these are going to go in these little notches right here. So there's three of them in total. So make sure that those are insert, inserted. Or I think there's, yeah, there should be four. Four in total, I think. Four. Maybe quite a few, but this one's only this one only has three. But anyways, okay, so after you're done, if you want to make sure that the fans work right away, what you can do is put the key on the on position. Let me roll down the window so you can hear it. And if you put the AC on the on position should hear the fans. Not those fans. Where's the AC button? No, it's actually on. Yeah, so I should turn right on right now. They're just really quiet. They can hear them. So it's so smooth. I mean, you're going to have your little vibration right here. That's just because of this is all loose. But other than that, I mean, we're all said and done. If this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions. And hit that subscribe button for more upcoming videos in the future. And thanks for watching.